Nice! I'd say that this was a better episode than the last couple. I felt like there were more things to appreciate in the middle of it, and not all of it has to do with Rick. Because Lauren got a little more camera time, not enough to justify her in terms of winning this game, but it's nice to see more of where she's at. And we're reminded again that Victoria does have a say in these dynamics, and that she is thinking about things, but there's nothing totally firm about it, because, I mean, granted, she is partially responsible for getting rid of Ron along with Lauren, but there's the whole business of Aurora giving up her extra vote, meaning that she participated in this as well? Hmm. It could be that that was just to save her skin, though, and they peer pressured her, which is close enough, but... I'm just not seeing that much that Victoria can uh, say that much right now, because I do think as of where things stand at this second, that she's the most likely to make it to the final three, but... Say it ends up being herself, Gavin, and Lauren, which is what Gavin is trying to work for right now, I can't see how she comes out on top in that uh, situation, but... Who knows? I uh, totally misread Nick last season, although I don't think I'm as far off with reading um, this cast as compared to last season, because this added to showing just about the right amount of gameplay that it needs to per contestant. Last season, there was no way it could have shown everything unless it had well, the proper amount, I mean, unless it, we had longer episodes. I think we're mostly getting that this season. But we are kind of missing a bit of wow factor. We'll have to see who ultimately comes out on top here for that to um, work out. Hmm. And then also Gavin. It's nice to um, see that he is still in a decent driver's seat position. And then he's assessing his options left and right, stating that he wants to do something, but recognizes how politics of the game can shift his mind because... He was originally dead set on Julie, but then Lauren makes convincing arguments that Aurora can win more challenges, and I don't think she said this specifically, but even though Devons is the odd man out, and traditionally it seems like you would expect Joey's to root for the odd person out, you gotta remember he's had altercations with some people on that jury, and his speeches? Yeah, it's meant to disrupt the game, but how do you know that he's not going too far? Now, granted, he's not doing what Mike did last season, um, where he really insulted Allison. Not that that cost him the game, because Allison actually ended up voting for him, believe it or not, but, um, I just don't think that that's the right level of talk, unless he can sway people at the final tribal, and that's if he makes it, which I think is a big if. Oh yeah, he's got his idol, which presumably is going to get him to uh, day 37, because I'm betting that um, we're going to get the um, battle back. I can't think of any other term to describe it, so I have to steal the big brother term. Um... For, for everyone that's on the edge of extinction on day 35, and then we have the predictable final 6, final 5, final 4 boots, day 36 onwards, so he gets to day 37. But, um, I don't know, because it seems like he... I don't know where he stands with fire, that's a good question. They just don't have enough time to um, show that, but if he's still around, I'm sure they'll bring up that topic. Okay, um, that immunity challenge, I was not expecting Rick to win the, that. I just figured that it wouldn't be um, Julie or Victoria, and that was really all that I could eliminate. But amazingly, he was able to get the puzzle when he didn't even mention tonight, where it was Laura and Lauren did mention tonight. And it's interesting that they picked up on it, but when you think about it, that gives away the longest word, I believed, in that puzzle, so, huh? You've got tons of two or three letter words that you could throw in there that work. We are two, huh? Doesn't mean anything. No, I'm not gonna make the full letter word. 
joke that's overused. Um, mm -hmm. And then Rick putting the heat on um, Aurora again. Well, it does make sense because he does feel like he can work with um, Julie because she's an odd person out like him, and she's definitely voiced that. Sure, Aurora has voiced that, but she's done fairly well at a lot of challenges. Lauren, she did good at the beginning, now she's just kind of mad. No one's actually talked about her in a really long time, despite the fact that she's the only other Manu slash Lezo member remaining, because Rick makes the joke last to Manu standing when they were both on Lezu, and in fact... <laughs> You really shouldn't even count Wendy as part of the Manu tribe anyway. She jumped right over to Kama just like that. So, I traditionally don't do that. Mm -hmm. Um, who oh no. And just, hmm? He says up his options, this is his best bet. He goes with it, and then he goes for the person that also doesn't have that much friends either, but can convince them to um, go against, because who knows, maybe they're still thinking. I guess Rick has a point, though he knows the odds of that are highly unlikely. The other argument that you can make, though, is that maybe he's not doing it to better his position, it's just to try and hurt other people's positions. Okay, not bad, but again, that doesn't really work with convincing people at the end, it's just getting to the end. Which is why, even though Rick has tons of momentum right now, I don't think you can really call him the lock or the favorite right now, because if the jury takes a moment to step back from the, oh man, he's just totally bamboozling them with those speeches, and thinks a little more constructively, there's problems. And I totally did not think that that idol bluff at the tribal would work, and it worked! <laughs> Even Victoria voted for Aurora. What the heck? I thought for sure it'd at least be 4 too, but... Finally, Aurora is out of the game. Not that she was, you know, oh my god, hugely bad, because there was nothing bad that she was doing, it's just she was portrayed as negative. Not to say that other people in this season that I'm lucky to haven't been negative. Lauren did a lot of negative talk about her emotional state, or dog him not being able to think properly about other people's emotions, that got to me. Rick did a couple of things that were, uh... Wentworth had a moment or two like that, even though she does kind of deserve it, given how she's been on the bottom, so... Much in her survivor experiences? Sure, Aubrey can argue that she was on the bottom, but, um... In Game Changers, it was just that she didn't really get an edit. Like, I think she only got her name written down two or three times. One of them was when Tony was voted out, then when she was actually voted out, and maybe she had a throwaway vote in there, I can't remember, but... Hmm? It's not the same for Aubrey. It's not. Okay, time to do, um, my assessment bit. So, I'm only going to assess the people that are still in the game proper, okay? Because that jury, there was way too many people to assess, and, I, and only one of them is going to come back. So, it's easier to just say, this is unknown variable X, let's see who that person ends up being. Yeah. Being. I'll try and make a prediction as to who gets back, though. Okay, so assessing Victoria, well, as I said, I just don't think she's got that much of a resume. I do think it's very likely that she makes it, but, um, not that much there. Lauren, it's pretty much the same situation, except she has the advantage of not being on the Kama tribe, and she still has that idol, though, as I think I mentioned one or two episodes back, I'm starting to doubt if she'll ever need to use it, which you can view as a plus, but given her situation early in this game, you would have thought for sure that she would have used it. Hmm. Not to say that I'm 100% against her, but I don't think she's got that driving edge. It's possible that she could do it, but not seeing it. Uh, Jewel... 
we, I think we can count her out at this point. I really do think that we can. Even if she's against Victoria and Lauren, I uh, can't see that happening because honestly, out of those three, I wouldn't be too surprised if Lauren actually was to win, though Victoria would get some votes from her former allies, potentially. Hmm. Uh, Rick. Well, he's got tons of momentum, but, um... I have a really tough time believing that he'd make it, and even if he makes it, that, the way that he's been talking like this, it, he needs to respond to more constructive thinking and logic. Now, granted, he has interacted with every single person on that jury except Aubrey. Well, no, 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 let me rephrase that. He's interacted with everyone in the game proper except Aubrey. Yeah. Everybody else... Well, he did interact with her on the edge, but... Mm -hmm. But just because you're, you've you interacted with anyone doesn't mean anything. Like, the only reason they brought that up for Denise and V from Survivor Law Cases is because in Denise's case, she had gone to every single tribal council and she saw Dana being medically evac, so she was present for every single elimination, and then V, that was because they were told beforehand exactly what the final four immunity challenge would be, because at the time, you would have a trivia um, game as one of the last two immunity challenges, though ironically, I think after that season, they stopped doing that. Huh. But, um, right. Interacting with everyone I don't think is going to play a factor in Rick's favor. He has to work that jury, and he'll have momentum, but as of right now, I don't think it's the right kind. Gavin, well, if he makes it with the people that he wants to make it with, I'd say that he's the uh, best bet to win, especially if it's uh, the those P. Ball, because I can't see Lauren uh, getting it better than him, because Gavin's smooth talk, smooth game, hasn't ever had his name written down. Lauren's had um, a vote or two in there, I think, and also she was this close, you know, to um, withdrawing from the game. She didn't say that, but, you know, her body withdrawing itself from the game, so... If he makes it against pretty much any combination, he's got a very good shot, unless Rick can better smooth talk the jury compared to him. As of right now, I'll take money that Rick won't. Or if the person from The Edge that comes back is just bamboozling that jury better than them. So let's think about who's going to come back from The Edge. Um... Well, based on various methods of elimination, such as camera time that they've gotten from when they were on the island, is the camera time because they were a attorney, or because they're a dynamic personality, and then gauging various physical strengths, I came to a determination that the most likely people to come back are one of the attorneys, Chris Aurora. And after thinking about that, I, uh, and doing some more elimination, I came to the conclusion that the most likely the person to come back is actually Aurora. And I'm not looking forward to that, because that would just be a repeat of where things were, and because I'm just not really in favor of her um, winning this. But to um, win, she'd have to get rid of both Gavin and Rick... And then she'd have to see how she um, would stand up against uh, Lauren or Victoria because one of them would have to be there with her and that would be a big question as to um, who would win in that situation, especially if it's Julie, Aurora, and Lauren. That would be really interesting. <laughs>